Hello. Today we will discuss the synthesis of propranolol, which is basically a beta blocker, rather non-selective beta blocker. So it's a very simple reaction. It's a reaction of epichlorhydrin with the starting material that is alpha naphthol, which will produce the glycidic ether. So here the starting material that is alpha naphthol, the main reactant for the synthesis of propranolol, that is alpha naphthol. Now, when this alpha naphthol is treated with epichlorhydrin, so this is the structure of epichlorhydrate. So you can see it, the rings look like an epoxide. So that's AP due to presence of chlorine, that is chlor. So the name of this reagent is epichlorhydrin. So whenever there is a reaction between alpha naphthol and epichlorhydrin, so we are getting this structure one. So simply there is a, uh, you, we can say that simple loss of HCl will be there. So that hydrogen from this naphthol moiety and this Cl. So when there is a interaction between these two moiety, so there is a loss of this HCl and we are getting this structure one. Now this one st first structure again undergoes reaction with isopropylamine. So in that simple ring opening is there. We can call it as, as you, it is an oxyrane ring or the epoxide ring, which is a three-membered cyclic ring, which is highly strained. So that can be easily break down or that will get easily opened up when it is treated with the isopropylamine. So when there is a reaction of this isopropylamine with this structure one, so we are getting ultimately the resulting product that is propranolol. So here that is oxygen that will remain same. Here CH2, so this CH2 will be same. Then this carbon, again this carbon, specifically on this carbon ring will be break down here so this will be as oh so you can easily observe here oh is there then adjacent to this carbon there is another carbon so that will be next carbon so we can say that this half portion is coming from structure one and this is the portion which is coming from isopropyl amine so in that way alpha naphthol on treatment uh, treatment of uh, epichlorhydrin that will produce the structure one which is basically a glycidic ether and when this ether undergoes treatment with isopropylamine so there is an opening of this ring so that ultimately we are getting the product that is propranolol thank you